Hello, how to solve for s in this equation? Square root of s and 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 square root of x is equal to 27. You won't believe what the answer is. Solution. So, if you have square root of a, this is equal to a to the power of 1 over 2. Then, if you have square root of m, this is equal to m to the power of 1 over 2. Then, also, if you have square root of s, this is going to be s to the power of 1 over 2. Then, let's split this now. The first square root of s is square root of x multiplied by this is this square s is square root of square root of s we have square root of square root of x multiplied by the third x we have four square root second square root and third square root we have square root of square root and square root of x then this fourth x we have four square root second square root third square root and fourth square root here is square root of square root square root then square root of x also the fifth s is square root square root two square root three square root four square root fifth you have square root square root two three four five x then multiply by the sixth one is four square root second square root third square root fourth fifth and the sixth we have square root 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, S, then is equal to 27. Now, since if you have square root of s is equal to s to the power of 1 over 2, now let's transform this. We have square root of s can be written as s to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by this square root of square root of s can be written as s to the power of 1 over 2 to the power of 1 over 2 multiply by this we have how many square root one two three then this is s to the power of one over two to the power of one over two to the power of one over two multiply by this is how many square root one two three four here we have s to the power of one over two to the power of one over two to the power of one over two to the power of 1 over 2 then multiply by here we have how many square root 1 2 3 4 5 then this is s to the power of 1 over 2 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 multiply by this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 then you have x to the power of 1 over 2 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 and to the power of 1 over 2 is equal to 27. Then here we have 
x to the power of 1 over 2 multiply by take note of this that if you have a to the power of m to the power of n this is equal to a to the power of m n so this can be written as x to the power of 1 over 2 times 2 that is 4 multiplied by this is x to the power of 1 over 2 times 2 4 times 2 that is 8 multiplied by this is s to the power of 1 over 2 times 2 4 4 times 2 8 8 times 2 16 multiplied by this is x to the power of 1 over 2 times 2 4 4 times 2 8 8 times 2 16 16 times 2 that is 32 multiply by this is s to the power of 1 over 2 times 2 4 4 times 2 8 8 times 2 16 16 times 2 32 32 times 2 that is 64 is equal to 27 just watch to the end and see what the solution is going to look like then take note of this that if you have a to the power of m plus n this is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n so the whole of this can be written as s to the power of 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 16 plus 1 over 32 plus 1 over 64 is equal to 27 then the SEM here is 64 here we have s to the power of this is the SEM is 64 then 2 in 64 that is 32 times 1 we have 32 plus 4 in 64 that is 16 times 1 that is 16 plus 8 in 64 that is 8 times 1 we have 8 plus 16 in 64 that is 4 times 1 we have 4 plus 32 in 64 that is 2 times 1 we have 2 plus 64 goes into 64 that is 1 times 1 we have 1 is equal to 27 then we have x to the power of here is 16 plus 4 that is 20 8 plus 2 that is 10 plus 20 making 30 then 30 plus 32 that is 62 plus 1 that is 63 we have 63 over 64 is equal to 27 but we are looking for the value of s let's multiply the exponent of both sides by 64 over 63 then this is s to the power of 63 over 64 to the power of 64 over 63 is equal to 27 to the power of 64 over 63 this will cancel this and this will cancel this s is equal to this can be written as 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 64 over 63 then 3 here 1 3 here 21 therefore s is equal to 3 to the power of 64 over 21 and this is the value of x using first method let's call this first method method one now let's consider the second method called method two from the second method we have square root of s and square root of s and square root of x and square root of s and square root of x and square root of x is equal to 27 solution 
then let's square both sides of this equation that is we have square root of s then square root of s 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 all square is equal to 27 square this will cancel this then we have s multiplied by square root of s square root of s square root of s square root of s then square root of s is equal to 27 square now let's square both sides of this equation again if you square this and square this then you square this here we have s square multiplied by this we cancel this s multiplied by we have square root of s square root of s square root of s square root of s is equal to 27 to the power of 2 times 2 that is 4 that is if you have a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m n so let's square both sides of this equation again we can square this again and then square this then we have s to the power of 4 multiplied by s square multiplied by this we cancel this s multiplied by square root of s square root of s square root of s is equal to 27 to the power of 4 times 2 that is 8 <coughs> then let's square both sides of this equation again square square this will give you s to the power of 8 multiplied by s to the power of 4 multiplied by x multiplied by this we cancel this we have uh, s square multiplied by s multiplied by square root of s square root of s is equal to 27 to the power of 8 times 2 that is 16 let's square both sides of this equation again this we give you s to the power of 16 multiplied by s to the power of 8 multiplied by s to the power of 4 multiplied by s square multiplied by this we cancel this s multiplied by square root of s is equal to 27 to the power of 16 s 2 that is 32 now let's square both sides of this equation again in order to remove this last square root we have s to the power of 32 multiplied by s to the power of 16 multiplied by s to the power of 8 multiplied by s to the power of 4 multiplied by s square multiplied by this we cancel this s is equal to 27 to the power of 32 times 2 that is 64 and of course remember the exponential rule that a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n then this can be written as s to the power of 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus this is to the power of 1 is equal to 27 to the power of 64 then here if you sum this together we have
s to the power of 63 is equal to 27 to the power of 64 but we are looking for the value of s let's multiply the exponent of both sides by 1 over 63 this is s to the power of 63 to the power of 1 over 63 is equal to 27 to the power of 64 to the power of 1 over 63 this we cancel this then s is equal to 27 to the power of 64 over 63 then but 27 can be written as we have s is equal to 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 64 over 63 3 year 1 3 year 21 then s is equal to 3 to the power of 64 over 21 and this is the final answer you can see that the value we got from the first method and this same second method they are the same i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel and if you think you have any other method that is more suitable than this kindly let us know in the comment section thank you bye